finally home! It's even colder out here! Ah, gosh darn it. Why didn't I bring a scarf or something? It's not that bad, Pesto. You'll get used to it. Alright guys, we are back with another episode of uh, Hellheim Hassle. Uh, pick up berries, yes. Still don't know what I need them for, honestly. And I don't need to fill my head right now. Uh, wait a minute. What is this? You made a noise. Uh, who is this now? Hey man, can you let us pass? <laughs> Haven't you heard? <laughs> this place is renovating. <laughs> You've got to solve my puzzle. What's your puzzle? <laughs> the puzzle is... Uh... You've got to give me one million coins! What? Where are we gonna find that kind of money? Ah, oh, come on! Don't hide your coin from Uncle Fafnir! <laughs> My leg! <laughs> Think I'll hold on to this until you start showing me some coins, Squid. One million of them! Jesus, he ate my leg! That's it! I'm killing this guy! I don't care if it's written or not! Throw me in hell, Jill! I don't care! I'll rot your face off, you overgrown frog! Come on! Don't just stand there! Bring him up! I'll give you a disease so hardcore, you'll have to consult a mathematician every time you have to use the bathroom! I got calm down again. It's not worth it. I think I can still move my leg in there. How does that help? If I can use my leg to mess with his uvula, I can make him throw up. Making frogs throw up. Just another day in the office. Body part unlocked. Okay. So, let's see what the quest says. We met a dragon. He ate my leg, but I can still move it in his stomach. If I mess with his kubula, I can make him throw up. Okay. So... Gosh darn it. <laughs> what? Okay, no. so I'm inside his stomach and I can jump pretty high. Wow. So there's another puzzle for me. No, I can't grab that. Uh, how do I make this go? Dragons have insult flimmers that move when you insult them. Of course they do. Okay, uh, leg, what do we do now? Insult. Hey, Fafnir, you are stupid. Ah, oh, that agitates my insult. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now we gotta go up. Hey, Fafnir, you, uh, you suck. Well, now I'm the crap. Oh, here's one of his laughter glands. Johan, if you're gonna make this guy laugh, please tickle him. Okay, what is that? Can I jump on that thing? Tickling him is just... <laughs> no, I can't. Fine. Okay, tickle him, maybe. Hey, Fafnir, more like... Dumb you're making me insecure. Okay, how about tell a joke? What do you call a sleeping dragon? A dragon. Aha, that was it. Okay. Oh! Another joke. What do you call a cool dragon? A dragon. <laughs> I'm a dragon. Hey, Fafnir! How is the weather up there? Uh, what? Why are you being so mean? Oops. Okay. Hey, Fafnir! No one likes you. Hey, that's a whole guy. And here is his pain hormone. Theohorn, I'm 97% sure you This should make him open wide. You're really gonna throw one in your arms. 
So just keep jumping on it or what? Joke now. What do you call a slow dragon? A drag's on. <laughs> I know those. Okay, how does that help me? I can't jump that high. What is this hole, by the way? Let's see, um... Never mind. Hey, Fafnir, you are stupid. I don't, I don't see anything moving on top. Oh. Am I supposed to grab that somehow? What do you call a dragon who doesn't own any rags? A dawn. Throw another arm in there. And oh, that works. There it goes. What the heck are you doing, Squirt? Oh, that really opened up my <sighs> being weirded out, Spectre. Yeah, this is getting weird no matter how. Weird. Oh, okay. So this is open now. Now I just gotta get my leg back to his throat. Johan, Uh, so what did he say? Let's get my arm and leg together to climb his throat. Arm and leg together. Um, oh, the ones inside? Oh, I can't jump that high. That means I need to go all the way back with this guy, maybe? What do you call a dragon who only talks about their accomplishments? A dragon. <laughs> Crap. Hey, Fafnir, you, uh, you suck. Woo, I made it. Okay, so do I just reunite them or what? Now I can grab stuff. Hey, Fafnir! More like Dumnir. Hey, hey, Fafnir! How is the weather up there? What do you call a sleeping dragon? A dragon. Crap. Oh, that was easy. All right, another joke. What do you call a cool dragon? 
A dragon. Okay, but now what? What am I supposed to do now? What do you call a slow dragon? A drag's on. Hey, Fafnir. No one likes you. Uh, what? Why are you being so mean? Where's the thing at? Oh! Oh, <laughs> made it. Uh, okay. Hey, Fafnir. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, your face isn't uh, symmetrical. Yeah, Crap. Okay, so I got my leg back. Oh, maybe I have to climb here. Okay, so let's try to go. I can go back with my arm, can I? Come on! I made it the first time, right? Okay. Tell a joke. What do you call a dragon who doesn't own any rags? A don. Um. Maybe that's not how I'm supposed to go back here. Hey, Fafnir. You are stupid. Aw, oh, that had to take my insult glimmer. Hey, Fafnir. You, uh, you suck. Well, now I'm depressed. What do you call a dragon who only talks about their accomplishments? A bragging. Okay, there it is. So now let's try to go back up front. What do you call a sleeping dragon? A drag off. Ah, oh, let go. <laughs> hey, Fafnir. More like dumb near. Oh man, you're making me insecure. Hey, Fafnir. How is the weather up there? Hey, that's it, old guy. Should be getting close. Okay, now uh, hopefully I can grab these guys here. Yeah, climb back up. Great, another puzzle. Hey, Fafnir, no one likes you. Well, now you're death being rude. Oops. What do you call a cool dragon? A dragon. Sweet. Did I make it for a mess, Pesto? This is already a mess. Maybe I have to throw it. Thank you. Did you just make me throw up? Man. You people are strange. Who makes somebody throw up rather than just give them one million coins? Ah, the heck with this puzzle business. I'm going back to killing people. Let's just never speak of this again, Bjorn.
Hey, Bjohar, what does this say? It says, sorry about the mess. You should have been sorry for that like two levels ago, you stupid gate. Okay, we made it somewhere. We got a half pig, half bull, and a goat. Hello, friends and foes! Hee hee! Aha! Ho ho! My name is the Allfather, and welcome to another episode of Duty Storm Carnage! Where we wreck scrubs and look good doing it! What? What? Oh, what's up with my team today? Why do you guys suck so badly? It, it looks like we're one player short. Oh, Father, I think Bjorn is AFK. Yeah, who even is that? Uh, his Nick is... Uh, I hate this place underscore two. What? I hate this place underscore two is our best healer. And he is AFK? Oh, gosh darn it! Oh. Oh, man. I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll just uh, edit that part out. <laughs> Hugo, Mango, get over here! Hello, all Father. We were just researching Duty Storm 5 tactics. Hey, did you know that you can maximize your damage output by... Skip! Boring! Don't care! Look, listen. <laughs> I need you two to do the thing. The thing where you fly out and find out stuff like a couple of nerds. What do you want us to find out, Allfather? Find out where I hate this place underscore two is. <laughs> hmm. This place seems a little warmer. That's the mess they were talking about? You ain't gonna see me complain about that. But I will complain about the rain. To home with you, rain! My socks are getting wet. You are never happy, are you? Okay, I see what this is. This is for the taxi. My natural habitat is 100 degrees with a hint of sulfur in the air. I don't belong here. Who belongs anywhere, Pesto? Come on, Pesto. You make it fake snow? Blackberries. Okay, get the blackberries. Uh, wait. What's here? Wait a minute. There was something up there. Let's take a closer look. Um. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, some more blackberries. Um How do I pick it? Oh, I don't need an arm. Maybe I need a leg too. Cuz I can't jump that high. jump with the leg like this. Oh wait, now I can. There we go. Hurry up, Johan. This weather is killing me. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? Where the home did that thing come from? A grim ripper. What the? Bjorn, it's coming right for us! Run, Bjorn, run! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Look at the How size so fast? of that thing! Why am I running, Pesto? 
I'm already dead. There are fates worse than death, Bjorn. Oh! It got you, Bjorn. Oops. I hope that doesn't happen. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, let's see. You. Leg. Pick up. Throw. No, oh, what are you doing? Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh man, I'm not gonna make it. Oh. I hope that doesn't happen. Alright, so take my arm off, pick it up, throw it. Hurry up, Johan! It's coming closer! Okay, I'm out of here, this is my head. Good luck getting mauled! And my arm. And... Oh, I made it. Okay. Up here, Bear Slayer. Hurry! Bear Slayer, yes. He missed me. Can somebody tell me why the home? We got chased by a gosh darn bear? That thing was a bear? Of course it was a bear! Don't you recognize a bear when you see one? Bear Slayer! That thing was no normal bear, Pesto. It was floating and stuff. Maybe it was the ghost of that bear you ruthlessly killed, Bear Slayer. Stop calling me Bear Slayer, Pesto. It was an accident. The important thing is that it's gone now. You must avoid that thing at all costs. It seemed pretty dangerous. I will. Thanks for helping us again, Anthony. Now, pull yourself together and pursue your dream. It's what Bear John Johnson would do. Believe in yourself, Bear Slayer. Thanks for the pep talk, Anthony. See you later. How come he gets to call you Bear Slayer and I don't? He has a car. Uh, wait a minute. What's down there? Yeah, what is this? Oh, uh, there's gotta be some kind of secret something, right? Um. Well, we need some light. So maybe we can find some light somewhere. Oh no. Not this Not guy again. again. Let me guess. You want us to pay you to pass again? As a matter of fact, I already got paid. Ha! Who was dumb enough to give money to a stupid frog? Some bear that was just here gave me a bunch of coin to kill this squirt. Wait, whoa, what? Did you just say a bear paid you to kill Beohard? When the home did this become a drama all of a sudden? I'm sure we can come to an agreement, Fafnir. We already had. Good night, Squirt. Fafnir, wait, no! You cannot die from a fall damage. You're immortal. Good to know. Bjorn, Bjorn, wake up! Can you see me? Make a sign if you can see me, Bjorn. But I still don't understand how your body works. Listen, Bjorn. That frog hit you so gosh darn hard, your body parts flew all over the place. You've got to find them, and we have to get the home out of here. I think that freaky bear paid the frog to kill you, which is super messed up. This whole thing is very traumatizing for me. We have to get to Viking Hell ASAP. I ain't getting mauled by a ghost bear just to keep my job. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going inside, because I still can't feel my legs. First things first, I've got to try and focus on my head and my other arm. Got to see where they are. Okay, head and what other the... arm. Who hung my head on the wall? Hey, our wall decoration speaks. That really adds the edge this place needed. Please take me down. No way. You really tie this place together. You're staying up there, zombie. This is too boring, even for me. Ugh, don't be sad, zombie. You're bumming out the customers. I tell you what, 
Since you're technically an employee, you can have free drinks. How's that sound? I recommend the goblin wine, but stay away from the troll wine. That stuff will knock your knickers right off your knuckles. Eh, uh, not that you have any of those. My arm is for sale in a store? <sighs> Maybe I can buy it back. Okay, so my head to my arm. Um... I shouldn't leave without all my body parts. Okay, what about this place? You're facing the wrong way. What? Oh, there's Hello, my... Hello! And welcome to Stone Mart! Cause only an N separates a stone from a store. N, we would love to have you. My name is Stonifer, and I will be your clerk today. Oh, you must be one of those silent protagonists. That's okay, I'm used to those. He's, uh, missing a head at the moment. Oh, well, here at Stone Mart, we're all about customer satisfaction. I have a brush and a notebook on the floor there for when you want to talk without words. Just write any questions you have about our products on the notebook and I'll answer you as well as I can. Hey, okay. Right on the pad. Um, the arm? Are you sick of things being out of arm's reach? Try an extra arm. For the small price of basically free, you can charm with this disarming arm. Cause what's the harm? Buy an arm. 20 gold, I don't have any. It looks like you're too poor to acquire this high quality item. Being poor, what else could go wrong? Oh, a chalk? Are you sick of your property vandalization being interrupted by annoying things like running from the law and the possibility of death? Try a piece of chalk. For a reasonable price, you can draw anything, anywhere, and no one will care. Chalk is 40 gold. I definitely can't afford that. Are you all dressed up with nowhere to go? Start your own party by buying what is essentially breath in a bag. Stone Mart, the only thing that makes less sense than our inventory is our prices. Are your clothes just too gosh darn comfy? Help the environment through your personal suffering. Buy a hemp t-shirt. Organic, grass-fed, gluten-free t-shirts. We got them. See, tuna. Are you sick and tired of eating fresh things? Try a can of tuna. It is so processed, it has its own photo filter. All right, never mind, I guess. Have a nice day! The go-to phrase where there's nothing else to say. Okay, uh... Oh. <laughs> I can't one jump that high. Order. I can order wine if I need to. Never mind. Um... Let's see if we can find my head. My head is right there somewhere. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, I think this is it, right? Yes. Um, re attack. Okay, let's see what this does. Kind of puzzle. Okay, I see red, blue, red, red. Uh, okay, so that is correct where I got it right now. I need your head. Anything else I can push here? 
wine menu. Okay, so red is goblin and blue is troll. Red is goblin. Okay, back to the head. Uh, let's do goblin first. Can I have a goblin wine? Coming right up, zombie. Actually, I don't want it after all. Well, I'm not wasting it. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I need to... Ooh. Okay, so let's knock her up. Hey, get down from there. You're not supposed to be there. Um, okay, let's try this again. Can I have a goblin wine? Coming right up, zombie. Actually, I don't want it after all. Well, I'm not wasting it. Aha! Uh -huh. Hi, the bartender passed out. Who's gonna serve us wine now? Anarchy! Time to go insane or die trying. <laughs> Airplane crashed. Uh, all right. So. Uh oh. How do I get there now? Gotta get my other arm next. Okay. We got the head and the arm. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. What did I just get? Edgy poster. It says Goblin Mine is classy, which means I've been classy since Friday. They are clearly not paying their slogan writers now for this stuff. I don't have any money though. Okay, maybe I can trade that somewhere. Oh. 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 Hey, I don't know the code. Okay. We need the code. Oh, what is this? It's locked. Man, there's a big enter here going on. Oh, hey, Bjorn. The clerk packed up everything of value and split when this riot started. Ah. Obviously, he left your arm behind. If you're wondering how he left, I, I promise not to tell. Okay, so what's next? Ah. Oops. Quest. Um... Okay, it just says, tells me to... Find my body parts, that's it. Alright, now that I'm armed and ahead, I should try and focus on my legs. Oh man, oh, a crap. Wolverine has my leg. What are those? Elves? Okay. I could try and deal with that Wolverine first, or I can try and navigate to my caged up leg. Okay, well, let's see what this Wolverine is. Okay, welcome to our thriving town of River Rum. I am its Earl. Also, 
My name is Earl. That makes me Earl. Don't forget to meet our zany residents before moving on to Hellheim City. Throw me on top of that building. Hey, Earl. Do you mind throwing me on top of that building? We're not on a first name basis yet. Please refer to me by my title, which is Earl. Also, I won't throw you up there. What if you get hurt? I can't have that on my conscience. Uh, insist? Come on, uh, Earl. Throw me. I need to get up there. No way, kid. You'd have to make me pretty angry before I did such a thing. Um... Salt? Hey, Earl. More like... Dumb near. What? Gosh darn it. I really am bad at insults. How am I supposed to get this guy mad at me? I need to find a way to insult this guy. Okay, um, there's something on top, but I can't jump that high. Uh, what is this down there? Your husband is open, hint, hint. Okay. Juicy, Close. juicy black currants. It's not breaking and entering if I don't break anything. <sighs> Oops. Dear diary, I miss... You know, I misunderstood a lot of things. Firstly, it turns out they were looking for someone named Earl, but for an actual Earl. Like the ruling position? I'm trying to I'm trying my best to do the job, but there's so much paperwork that's driving me insane. Then it turns out the workers aren't workers at all, they're goblins, and they're nothing but trouble. They keep drinking goblin wine and getting wasted during work hours. One of them was so useless and annoying that my first deed as Earl was to kick him out of town. It's not all bad, though Hell and Balder are really nice, they even gave me a pretty swanky apartment. I'm already planning to fill it with model airplanes. I can't wait. Uh, I'm starting to think I don't belong in the river run either. I finally saved up for a US Zone Germany 8-inch tin wind up model airplane but when it arrived in the mail today all the goblins made fun of me for being so excited one of them even had the addict uh, city to say that model airplane building was dumb and boring I was so furious that I kicked him as hard and as far as I could he flew all the way to the roof of PuzzleCon I hope the impact killed him the goblin I kicked yesterday is alive and well and he stole my US zone whatever airplane is payback. I can't believe this. I've turned the the town apart looking for it, but I can't find it anywhere. They must have hid it in their dumb goblin cave. But I can't fit in there to go see. I hate goblins and I hate this place. Okay, this might be not important. Um, so what did I break? A vase? Ooh, what is this? Oh, I need an arm. Well, hang on a second. Letter found. Let's try to go back somehow. Okay. Um. Oh, there's more on top.
Okay, so what we got? Quest, back to quest. Uh, Alright, looks like Earl is a big fan of model airplane building. I can work with that. Okay, so let's try to talk to him again. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hey, Earl, guess what? Building model airplanes is dumb and boring. How dare you talk to an Earl like that? Model airplane building is a respectable and highly complex hobby. I'll show you. Yeah. I can't believe that worked. I'll apologize later. Okay. What is this? Uh, I don't know what to do with this yet. Oh, hot gosh darn, we're so handsome and perfect, Tristanel. Don't forget immortal. Oh, look at that vile creature, Tristanel. Not hot or gosh darn at all. The residents of this place are so gosh darn hideous, Sebastianel. That is why we left Elfheim. They need our talents as body painters. I just hope that not hot gosh darn thing doesn't trespass in our perfect home and mess with Lucy. I think she's in heat. You named our pet leg Lucy, Sebastianel? Are we married to that? The only thing I'm married to is myself, Tristanel. How wise of you. Let me tweet that real quick. Let me take a selfie with you tweeting that. Okay, my leg is their pet. We told you not to trespass here, abominate. Come back here. Oh, are they chasing me? Got you. Crap. Ah, uh, I need to wash my hands, Tristanel. I touched it. Okay, let's try this again. Come back here. locked us out of our own hot gosh darn house. I suggest we venture to the cafe and deal with this. Like, never. Hot gosh darn, that is a remarkable idea, Tristanel. Indeed. Okay, so where's my, how to get my leg now? Um... Ah! And what did that do? Oh, I need to jump somehow. Sweet! I got the leg. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow, man. Uh, this is too much. Okay, what am I missing? Another leg, right? Oops. Oh, okay, I found some money. Okay, great. Is there any more money anywhere?
reach that? as high as I can get. It's not enough. What do I do? Wait a minute. Can I jump that high? I don't think so. Go somewhere else. Let's see what the next quest is. Um, speed on the ground. Passion modeler playing work. He kicked me onto the roof. I should try to wake up to him later. Oh, this is Don Quest, okay. The Wolverine, stay away from the Wolverine. Okay, let's go find him. Oh, wait, what's... What is that on the left? I just dropped something. I don't know. Do I have everything? I need to scare him away somehow. Something with these rocks. I can't pick him up. Oh, yeah, I did. Need to hit his head if this is going to work. I just need my leg back. <sighs> Sorry about that. Oops. Not again. Sweet, I got my leg. A Wolverine just bit my beard off. I'm sorry, bud. Okay, so I got a bunch of body parts now. Um
doesn't look like I can throw anything there. Maybe throw my other arm? Or maybe I'll throw a rock. Looky here, Tommy. What? When you're setting up a puzzle, it's important to disassemble all the parts and clean them. Clean parts means a clean heart, as my uncle used to say. Then he drank bleach, and now he can't process the concept of numbers. Look, mate. You need to stop taking apart our puzzles. No one asked you to fix them. Well, somebody's got to get her done, kitty boy. These puzzles are barely glued together. Oh, it reminds me of my Aunt Olga. She was so old, her spine had its own seat at the dinner table. What? No! And take down that... that whatever it is you built back there. You used Goblin Goblin property. You have to return that stuff. I built him to show you how to get her done, kitty boy. Now pass me that screwdriver. <sighs> okay, Torso's in trouble. Um, so where was it? Torso, okay, so all the way down there. So I need to somehow I need to is not gonna fit in there either. Maybe the rock will. Oh wait. Yes. Rock and roll, baby. Cool. Oops. Oops. in here. Where's my, uh, Tarzo is this way still, okay. I don't know what those numbers... I don't know what I need to turn those numbers to. I do have a rock for some reason. of my buddies.
I shouldn't leave without all my body parts. Letter found. It's what the letter says. Yeah, might need them later, I don't know. I'll do this again if I do. Crap. Where is my head? Jumping is a lot faster here in this situation. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's all I had to do? Seriously? Man. Hello, sir. I think you have my torso. You mean my table, kitty boy? I just found it lying on the ground. It's my only furniture that isn't made from deer antlers. Well, it obviously belongs to me, sir. So I'm gonna need it back. You know, back in my day, we didn't just get things back, kitty boy. We had to work two weeks straight for an apple that turned out to be a rock painted red. Then we sold our teeth at the farmer's market to afford our first piece of clothing. Look, man, what do I have to do to get back my torso? You need to work, of course. You'll have to solve the Einar's crazy puzzle extravaganza. It has moving parts and is entirely made of deer antlers. Takes 10 hours to solve. No, no, no. You're not making this kid go in that thing. Give him his torso back, or I'm telling Balder. Oh, fine. Puzzles aren't done yet anyway. Come back later if you want to solve some crazy puzzles, kid. Okay, that's a lot easier. Um... We definitely need to change the dust filter. I'm all full Let's again. Antlers. No. Guess I'll come back later and check this out. Taxi ride. Wait, there was a gate down there at the very beginning, I thought. We need to paint these fences, Tommy. They look better in red. Like the color my ex-wife turned right before she cut off my tail. Now, now we don't need to paint the paint. Oh, man. Oh, where am I going? Anyway, this gate. Where are we? Is this? I came from here, didn't I? Yeah. And I 
have been here too. What was this? Psst. Hey, hey, buddy. Let me guess. You want to peek behind this gate, don't you? I got you, buddy. I got you. I just have one condition. I've got this stupid classical song stuck in my head, and I gotta hear it one more time. Play it on those icicles over there, and I'll let you in. Aw, oh, I don't know how to play. Ah, come on, it's real simple. It's that song by Edvard Grieg. Everybody knows that song. Gosh darn it. There it is again. Oh, wait. Your Saint Hammer party, huh? Can't believe you're still alive. You're 12. I'm 14. Well, technically something like 1,014. Whatever. I guess I should let you come in. But listen, play the song for me, and I'll give you a nice souvenir. Everybody likes souvenirs. So. Aha. OK, what song does he need? That's nowhere near the song I was thinking about. Try again. Stop. That makes me sick. OK, so it's third one. Three, four. No, that's not it. Stop it. Man, I. OK, three, four, one. Nope. Or three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> I gotta start writing this down. Okay, so it was three, four, one, two, three. Maybe one. Stop. No. That makes me sick. Okay, so three, four, one, two. Three, four again? Yes. Okay, now what? Let's go one. No. Now that's two. Not. Okay, so three, four, one, two, three, four. Yes, that's it. Oh man, at last, I got to listen to it again. And as I promised. Here you go. My life has no meaning. Okay, I guess I'm kind of level amp. Come to an end here. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, we got this cave. It's locked. Okay, I already did that. No, oh, I've been here. I thought there used to be someone somebody sitting down in here. Maybe he's gone now. Know what this is called, Tommy? Yes, it's a capacitor. <laughs> no, no, that's what they want you to believe. The proper uh, is this the end? It's rude to leave mid conversation. What? There we go.